Hey folks, quick check on the forecast. Things looking really, really nice this afternoon. Working on the web story back there, trying to get you the latest and greatest information on the website. Again, if you like the meter upper 60s, you're going to love what we've got to show you. We'll take the graphic full for you. Real quick, I want to show you the surface map. This is a look at the uh, system coming on in from the west. We've got some high pressure off the coast of the uh, uh, eastern U.S. and that has been keeping us nice and bright and dry for the past couple of days. Unfortunately, it can't hold on that much longer. Big system now working its way in from the Midwest, from the Great Lakes region, and it will get to us this evening. Initially, you'll notice we turn cloudy as we go into the afternoon. By 8 or 9, the rain is moving in from the west, and it will be on our doorstep. Look at what happens when we go a little bit further into the overnight. More widespread rain in the Capital District and in the western New England. But now this system appears to be moving through pretty quickly. We do think by the Friday morning commute, there could be a couple lingering light rain showers, but nothing like what we had overnight. And then the rest of the day looks mostly dry. Now it's not going to be crystal clear. It will actually be more cloudy than not, but a departure from our previous forecast where we did expect rain to linger longer. That means more dry time to enjoy, so we will take it. 67 is the forecast high this time around. Turning cloudy late in the day, light and variable winds. The record for today is 75. Yesterday we got close to the record. Today I think it's a little bit more safe, a little more out of reach. Tonight down to 47. Look at the average low for this time of year. You see 26. Nowhere close to that. With the clouds, with the rain, we're just staying incredibly mild out there. And then tomorrow, 57. We take a bit of a hit behind the overnight rain showers. But again, way, way, way north of where we typically are in early to mid-March. Let's go ahead and show you what lies beyond today, tonight, tomorrow, the weekend. Saturday's actually looking quite nice. This bodes very well for the big St. Patrick's Day Parade in Albany. We do think mid 50s and maybe some breaks of sunshine. Sunday is actually St. Patrick's Day and uh, well, it looks a little less nice. Widespread rain showers, temps in the low 50s. The mountains could be just cold enough for periods of wintery mix or even snow. Could all see some rain or snow showers depending on the temperature as the precipitation rolls on through Monday. Cool and breezy with highs mid 40s. Tuesday 43, a little breezy and blustery for the first day of spring. It's also the coolest of the bunch back to 44 with a little more sun on Wednesday. Thank you, Matt.